Welcome to our instructional videos. Today we will learn how to place a back bottom or home bottom in your product menu. The back bottom allows the end user to go back into the main categories in order to add more product to their cart and explore all the menus available. First thing we need to know is where will the back bottom fit the best on the screen is recommended to place one on the top left or lower left side of the screen that way the end user can go back into the main screen if they choose to go back. Here is an excel representation of the menu you just saw on the previous video. This excel sheet is crucial to position each icon inside a category as every icon inside a category is indicated with a number shown in bold letters for this example. Contact Joffima support to acquire this excel sheet. The numbers in bold, 0 to number 40, this represents one screen, meaning 12 items maximum will appear in one screen. Number 0 being the back bottom. Also notice each color is composed by 4 numbers, this is the space each icon will take when selecting medium size icons, small icons and big icons are illustrated in a different video. Numbers 48 through 88 are the numbers you will be using to continue adding product to the right of the main screen. Think of it as a second screen when the end user clicks on the arrow looking for the rest of the products. If you add two screens, you can add up to 24 items on a medium setting. The number of items you can add per category is limited to the space in the dispenser, but to give you an idea, depending on the size of the product each dispenser can hold up to 80 products, and each PlayStation MSK can handle up to 4 dispensers for a maximum of 320 selections, if you are able to utilize the space inside each dispenser. Also keep in mind, if you have more than 12 products under a category, you will need to add a back bottom for the end user to be able to go back into the main menu. Log into J Suite website, contact Joffima, U, S, A, if you do not have your login information. The first step to follow is to upload the image you like to use for the back bottom. Under the management tab, click on graphic resource element. A new window will come up with a list of images you have uploaded in the past. Look for the square with the plus sign to create the back bottom image located on the top left side of the screen. A new window will come up. This will allow you to enter the name of the back bottom. For class type, enter general. Then press create. The message registration has been created will appear in green. Then click on graphic resource element tab for uploading the back bottom image of your choice from your computer. Then click on the square with the plus sign. For icon images of 307 by 307 pixels, under graphic resource type, select product image. For language, choose default. Then press create, the message registration has been created, will appear in green. Then select the tab, add file to graphic resource element. To upload an image from your computer, press choose file, and search for the image you like to add, as shown on the video. Then click, upload file, and go back to the tap graphic resource element, to save the upload image. Once saved, close the window. Now we can see the image upload we just did. Highlight product image, and click show image. Now that we have the image for the back bottom, we can create the back bottom link, which is the command, or icon people will click to go back. Under the tap machines, select links. Click on the square with the plus sign to add the back bottom. A new window will come up. Under the name field, type back bottom. And under the field link type, enter sale template link and finally link the image you previously did upload. Type the name of the image for a quick search. Click save and you should see the confirmation message registration has been created. Now is time to add the back bottom under each category. First under the tap machines, we need to click on sales template. Here is where we have our menu categories. For this example, we are going to use the drink menu. Double click on drinks. 
We will assume you have loaded product and a drinks, which means all your drinks already have a position on the touch screen. Notice the Alka Seltzer has a position 40, size medium. If this were to be the last product on the screen, we will place a back bottom at the end. Refer to the Excel. If you look at number 40, the next number to 40 will be 52. To add the back bottom, click on the tab, sale template links. Then click on the square with the plus sign. Under the tap link, select the back bottom you previously created. Destination sale template is where you will like this back bottom to take the end user when they click on it, which is back to the main category screen. In this case, we will select position 52 and size medium. Why position 52? Refer to the Excel. The back bottom should be placed at the end of the menu and one back bottom should be at the beginning of the menu. This will facilitate the end user experience when looking to add more product to the cart. Repeat the process. Now we are adding a back bottom at position 0 as shown on the video. Back bottoms can be added anywhere on the screen. Just make sure the back bottom position does not overlap with one of your existing products. Always add the back bottom after adding all your product and always leave one space on the beginning for the home bottom on your menus like position 0 or position 4 for quick access. To the end user. Your drinks menu should start looking like the example on the picture as you add product. Updates need to be sent from the back end to the PlayStation in order to see the changes on the user interface. Sending updates to the user interface is explained on a different video. 